Now, when I said that we wanted to see a less expensive variant of the Galaxy Watch, I didn't think they'd listen. And then they came out with this, the Galaxy Watch Active. As the name suggests, it is more for those really active ones and it is designed for them as well. So with a cheaper $200 price tag, is the Galaxy Watch Active actually worth it? Let's find out. Let's talk about the build quality first. And to be honest, it's top notch, even for something that weighs like 25 grams. It's also really comfortable. I mean, you can't even feel it on your wrists. Whether you're sleeping or working out, it's easy to forget that you're wearing one. The silicon bands are very comfortable and they are interchangeable as well. So if you don't like this color, you can swap it out. But with a 40mm watch face, it's small. And on top of that, these huge bezels don't help. The watch looks really tiny and for men out there, it is not something you can rock with a suit on or something. I mean, this does not look classy at all. It looks sporty, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, what I miss the most is how the rotating bezels are gone. That was supposed to be like the signature design of all Samsung wearables, but now it isn't there. They have bezels on it, so instead they could have gone with the rotating ones, which would make things a lot better. So yeah, the design is suitable for someone with small wrists, especially the ladies. Not everyone's cup of tea, but hey, if you like something light, then this is the way to go. To talk about the display, there's nothing new here, except that it's small. The 1.1 inch AMOLED panel looks good. Samsung knows how to do their displays, so I have no complaints on the display quality. Brightness levels are good, there's the adaptive brightness feature and also the always on display. But that will of course chug your battery like water. The only problem I have is how small the display is. Now yes, this is a really sleek design and made very light, but with the small screen navigating through is kind of difficult. Also, this thing only features Gorilla Glass 3 protection and not the Gorilla Glass DX Plus, which is present on the more expensive Galaxy Watch, so it is a bit prone to scratches and scuffs. I managed to get a bit of scratch on mine, so yeah, you gotta be careful with this one. Now, when you're this small and light, I imagine it's difficult to squeeze in a larger battery. And the battery life is what you would expect. It has a 230mAh battery which is smaller than the Galaxy Watch and lasts even less. I got about a day and a half and that was with the heart rate monitor set to 10 minutes and always on display off. I'll get to that in a while. It charges the standard way, a wireless dock that comes with it inside the box. But it also charges via reverse wireless charging on your Samsung device or any other device that supports it, like the Huawei P30 Pro. But for me, the practical usage of reverse wireless charging is pretty limited. I mean, when you put it on the back of your phone, it's really difficult to find that exact spot for it to charge. And even when you do, the phone and the watch is pretty slippery and even the slightest of movements or vibrations can set its position off. Also, it takes 1 hour and 45 minutes to charge it directly from its charger, even for such a small battery. So imagine how long it is going to take that way. Okay, now for the performance, it runs on the same Tizen OS, but with the latest One UI, which makes for more rounded icons and layout. Also, it packs 4GB of storage, which was very helpful for me because I could store all my favorite songs. And it also connects to a wireless headphone, so I do not have to carry my phone around while going to the gym or going for a walk. Talking of apps, the watch syncs with your phone via Samsung Galaxy wearable app. But you can access your data with the Samsung Health app as well. The wearable app is more for customizing your watch faces and the settings and such, while the health app will let you in on your insights about your health activities. The wearable app does have a lot of watch faces. You get like maybe 8 to 10 watch faces on the watch itself, but you can choose from a lot of other watch faces on the app. As for the features, this one packs a lot of them. There's very less compromises in this department from the more expensive Galaxy Watch. You still get a lot of workouts including those gym barbells, push-ups and whatnot. This watch also detects some of the workouts automatically, like running, walking, riding, etc. Even when you're doing something like playing football, it'll show you that you're having a dynamic workout session and the records of each of your workout are pretty comprehensive too. 
But one thing is when I'm riding a scooter, uh, it tricks the watch into thinking that I'm riding a bicycle and uh, display things like calories burned and stuff. This issue is present on the Gear S3, the Galaxy Watch and they haven't fixed it yet. Um, other things like sleep tracking and heart rate monitoring are pretty standard. Except that in this one, you get continuous heart rate monitoring like the Huawei Watch GT and as much as I'd like to keep that on, battery is the constraint here. But there are other options like measuring the heart rate every 10 minutes or keeping it off altogether. So I just kept it at 10 minutes. The sleep tracking seems pretty accurate to me and it will keep track of your sleep levels as well. The limitations of the Tizen OS is that it is not compatible with all the third-party apps. And yes, the Samsung Health app does pretty much take care of all your workout records, but if you want to run something like Runtastic, that won't be possible. Another thing is that vibrations on this thing are not as good as the Galaxy Watch. Alerts might be easy to miss when you're working out or playing. Also, you cannot make or receive calls in this one like the Galaxy Watch, but that's okay because that was not a very useful feature anyway. But you can still reply to texts and messages the same way, with a mini keypad phone style layout. But again, for this you have your phone nearby and this is not particularly a useful thing either. Right, let's sum up. So the Galaxy Watch Active to me seems like a better deal than the Galaxy Watch itself. It keeps a lot of features the same, yet has a lesser price. The functionality is there, it's a great fitness band, one that is really easy to go along with. It is lightweight and really helps with all the workout and even general wear is very comfortable. However, some men might not find it appealing. So if you want something that looks more classy and uh, goes with all kinds of get-ups like uh, casual or parties or formals, then sadly this is not the one you can go for. Go check out the Galaxy Watch for that. And a small suggestion, I think right now is not the best time to get this watch because if you look at the history of Samsung wearables, they tend to receive price cuts gradually. And maybe you should wait for that to happen. Maybe a $40 price cut would convince you to get this. So that was all for the review. Tell us what you think about the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active in the comment section below. Till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and thank you for watching.